You know, Christmas and New Year's ain't the only holidays in December. There's also Hanukkah. Now, I'm not Jewish, but a Gentile like me can't resist the taste of chocolate rugula. A flaky crust, yummy chocolate filling. There's no way this is going to survive eight days or less. So let me show you my take on the recipe. Oh, and one more thing before we begin. If you like this video, go on down, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a what happened to the dislike button. I'm gone for one month and I can't even count on YouTube to not screw up. Oh God. Okay, first things we gotta do, let's make the dough for the arugula. I have here in my stand mixer an eight ounce block of cream cheese and two sticks of unsalted butter. Put them in a stand mixer with the paddle attachment and uh, gives these a good beating until they're nice and mixed up. Uh, make sure your camera is secured tightly. Okay, once it's nice and well combined, let's move on to the next step. Let's add half a teaspoon of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. And two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Just wanted to make sure my flour dealer was giving me pure flour and not cutting it with additives. Okay, when it comes together like this, turn off the mixer, transfer it to a gallon size zip top bag. And stash this in the fridge for one hour. That way the flour can absorb all the moisture and the butter can harden. I know I should film the part of me putting this in the fridge, but I just got back. Give me a break. Put on your yarmulke. Here comes Hanukkah. Now then, first thing you gotta do, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Did you kill six million of my target audience's ancestors? The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's been an hour, but before we get to the dough, let's take care of the filling. I have here in this bowl, eight ounces of melted chocolate, to which we'll add two tablespoons of brown sugar. This will help provide some, what's it called, spreadability to the chocolate once we roll out the dough. Speaking of which, all right, take our dough and cut it into thirds. Sprinkle your work surface with flour. Now roll our dough out into a square. Okay, once it's mostly square-like, grab a pizza cutter and just cut off the ends. Put the scraps in with the next pile. Dollop on a nice dab of our chocolate. All right, now cut this into thirds lengthwise. Okay, now roll these up nice and tightly. And place these on a parchment lined baking sheet seam side up. Now before these go in the oven, let's give these a nice coat of egg wash. Just beat an egg with a couple tablespoons of water and boom, egg wash. Place our arugula in the middle of our 350 degree oven and bake them for 25 to 30 minutes. I need a juice. All right, and after, well, actually 35 minutes, place our arugula Transfer the arugula from pan to cooling rack. And let them... 
Cool. Okay, and after 10 or so minutes, the rugula has cooled down and it's ready to eat. As stated earlier, I'm not Jewish, but I know what it's like to have your mom constantly nagging at you to wear a sweater in the middle of winter. Mom, we live in California and it's still 75 degrees outside. I think I'll be fine. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and support me on Patreon. So, how long is it before I get a bunch of Israel versus Palestine fights in my comment section?